Our Inley Middle School students are the culmination of the work that we do here. We have a program that builds on itself from the time kids are small, but in the middle school, all of the pieces of education come together. They learn to know themselves. They learn to know themselves as humans, as people within community, and as learners. And they can articulate that. It's not one lesson plan that our children are working through in the classrooms. It's individualized lesson plans. And that curriculum has been very carefully curated to really work throughout all the levels. Our eighth graders begin the year with a portfolio project that asks them to examine who they are as learners, where have they come from, and where are they going. And that sets the framework for an eighth grade year that brings together all of the lessons from their earlier years and sets them on a track for success into the future. Kids at this age want to be seen. This is the most important thing. They want to know that the adults around them see them, value them, hear them, really hear them. It nurtures the learner so much just having that small community because it helps kids feel like they can be braver and do more that they might not normally do in a different setting where they don't feel as comfortable in their own skin. The teachers really know our children and I really feel strongly that that's been a major part of their learning here. I mean I can't really name many schools that would have teachers actively going to kids at lunch and talking to them about a TV show. Whenever I talk to other teachers, they get really nervous that kids call us by our first names. I can't imagine someone calling me Mr. and having more respect because they do that. I'm not a math teacher. I'm a teacher of adolescents who happens to teach math. Adolescence is hard. I want you to be able to say no to the wrong thing and yes to the right thing and to stop and interrupt something that doesn't feel comfortable or to charge forward and be like, no, I really want that. From an age-appropriate standpoint, uh, the children can go out into the world. They can go and host and be part of internships. They can go and participate in other organizations and work with the seniors or work with the watershed and understand things outside their community, which helped our children to see things a little differently. Not just that they were learning something, but they had a stake in the world around them. So for my internship, I worked with uh, Tony Katagas, who's a movie producer. I learned a lot about communication, but especially about making sure that the team that you had is going to do what they love and be passionate about what they love. I interned in D.C. at the Department of Justice. I got to see a few court cases, some hearings, a sentencing, and I got a tour of the main department building. When we see our 8th grade students at graduation, um, we can look across the stage and see students who are incredibly aware of who they are as learners. Know themselves, understand themselves, and articulate ideas about themselves and what they want in the world. And that's just the skill that you really don't see. They care about their relationships with each other, and they take care of each other. I think this is represented really well in the ship, shipmate, self concept, where we care for the ship, and we care for our shipmates, our peers, and then ourselves. The teachers expect you to be not just a passive figure, but an active figure. Inley taught me to be a resilient person and a flexible person. Going into a new high school, not knowing anyone, and not really knowing what it would be like at all, I was so prepared that I honestly, I felt no transition. Alumni who come back often to visit us when they go to make college choices and career choices, oftentimes we hear them linking back to something pivotal in their 7th and 8th grade Inley years that shaped them and moved them into the future. 